before this video begins, I just wanted to inform you of something very important. Do you want to win one of these four Winter Healer 2022s? Because I clearly don't need all four of them. Well, then all you need to do is go and follow me on my Twitter and then come and join in with our brand new pageant happening on Saturday, the 17th of December at 6 p.m. GMT or 1 p.m. Eastern Time. You guys asked me to do the pageant a little bit earlier in the day. So it is now two hours earlier at 6 p.m. And it will be on a Saturday so that more of you can can make it the 17th of December. The winner of the pageant will win the new Winter Healer 2022. So you guys really, really do want to be there. Now, trust me, you guys, I know you are all so excited about this and trust me, so am I. So to celebrate the excitement, I have done something extra special as well. I have decided to do a $100 Robux gift card to celebrate the Christmas Christmas season and to thank you guys for all of your support on my channel. If you would like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and then click the link in the description to enter the giveaway. It will ask you for your email so that I can message you if you win and you can do the various different entries. You don't have to do all of the entries. You only have to do at least one of them. So if you don't have social media, don't worry. But if you do have social media and you want to do those extra entries, you will have more chance of winning so it might be worth considering it. Good luck to all of you, and I can't wait to share these beautiful halos with you. Hello, wonderful little beans. My name is B, and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started today's video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and click that bell. And of course, you stack a B when buying Robux or Premium. Now, you guys, I am really excited about today's video for a few reasons. This is a very interesting piece of tea about the new school in Royal High that our friend Iris noticed and shared with us. And you guys, it's kind of a bit weird. It is, you guys. I'm not going to lie to you. It is a weird one, but I am actually really intrigued by it. So I'm going to share it with you today. As many of you guys will already be aware... Royal High currently has a maximum player limit of 15 players, something that most of us have always found rather annoying. Now, there is a slightly larger player limit, of course, in some realms than others, with there being 14 to 15 of those people who can actually join inside of Fantasia, but less in some of the other realms. This can be rather annoying when you want to be able to play with your friends, and so we've asked for a long time for Barbie to either give us larger servers or make it so that private servers can be increased if we accept the fact that we are probably going to lag, but at least we get more people in. It looks as though maybe Barbie is actually going in the opposite direction. If you head on over to the Royal High Rollermons page, you'll be able to find some various different realms, new and old, from Royal High over the years. But if you do a Control F and then search, or Command F if you're on Mac, and search RH and press Enter, all of the ones that are highlighted with RH at the beginning are, of course, the new school. The art class, the main campus, locker courtyard, rainy day classroom, enchant traverse, the castle dormitories, closet that's unused, the gymnasium, test tower, dormitory, bathing quarters, office, question marks, that's an interesting one, West Wing Campus, Throne Tower, now bear in mind guys, there's one called Main Campus and one called West Wing Campus, so that's interesting, that's going to be huge, and archery class down here you guys as well, which is an actual class version of obviously the Battle Alla Royale that we get right now. The interesting thing though you guys, is that if you open up a couple of these realms, like the RH Enchantraverse realm, instead of maximum players being 15, look at this. Maximum players, 10. In other words, only 10 people can join the new Enchantraverse in the new school. Now, this is not the only one. If you go over to the art class once again, you can see max players, 10 people. I think it's safe to say, therefore, that the new school, rather than having an increase from 15 players to maybe 20 or 25 that people asked, it's more likely you're actually going to struggle a little bit more to get more people in, because if you go to, say, certain classes, or if you go to the Enchantraverse, or certain areas, only 10 people are going to be allowed in there at a time, as it currently stands based on the settings we can see on Rollermons, which tells me the new school is going to be an even more intimate and 
smaller experience, but that there's probably going to be a little bit more lag than expected, hence the reduction in the player count to try to keep the lag down. Now, obviously, you guys, I recognize that this might not be something you necessarily care about, but when you're a YouTuber who's trying to do meet and greet, only having around 10 spaces is a nightmare. Not to mention you take up one of them as well, and if you have somebody else with you, or as a friend, for example, who's come to join in, they take up one as well. So it becomes a whole problem where you have to constantly reset your servers so that people can come and meet you. It's going to be even harder to let people meet you, do like meet and greet, or of course even have your friends join you if there's even less spaces for us to play. Now, obviously, you guys, we will need to wait and see how the final stuff comes out and actually how the game works in the end. But I'm curious to know what your opinions are on this. What do you guys think? Do you think this is a weird change or do you think it makes sense? Let me know in the comments down below. I know that adding more players would make the game lag really badly because of all the particles, all the dress ups and things like that. And then people would end up just leaving anyway. But it does sort of ruin the idea that some people will be able to have more friends joining them in order to play with more people at once. But I guess we're going to have to just wait and see what comes next for the Royal High New School update. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, don't forget to use that could be when buying Robux or Premium. Thanks for watching, everyone. We love you lots. Bye. -bye.